So, you know how to play X-Wing on Tabletop Simulator, but now you want to dig into some of its advanced features. One of the most important things to get familiar with in the X-Wing module is the context menu for ships, or any object for that matter. By right-clicking on a ship, you can access this menu. The first thing to learn is the description commands. Everything a ship can do can be controlled by typing in the appropriate command in this box. For instance, if we want to turn a ship 90 degrees, simply type TL4 or TR4 for turn left 4 or turn right 4. Then click outside the box and the ship will move. To undo, you can use the undo button on the dial or type Q in the description. Notice that anytime a ship moves or performs an action, the chat log updates. The end of this update includes the description command for that action. To find a list of these description commands, simply look in the notebook section at the top of the screen under movement. After deleting a ship, notice that the chat log mentions a restore command. If you need to put a ship back after deleting it, simply spawn a new model and type the restore command in the description and it will move back to its previous position. To manually create a restore point, type keep into the description. This will allow you to move the ship around and then put it right back into the save position using the Q command, which is also undo. One of the newest features of the module at the time of this recording is the automatic rangefinder. This can be found in the context menu by clicking on the firing arc you want to check. The rangefinder will display lines showing closest point to closest point and the chat log will update with information regarding obstructions and bullseye arcs. To hide the rangefinder, simply click on the arc in the description command again. Objects in Tabletop Simulator are highly customizable. The easiest way to differentiate things is to change their color. To do this, right click on an object and alter the color tint. For more advanced customization, you can right click on an object in a server you are hosting. Click custom and copy the diffuse image URL. Paste this into a browser of your choice and you can download the paint scheme of the object. You can then edit this image in the photo editor of your choice. Save it, upload it to a hosting site like Imager, and post the direct link into the box you copied from earlier. TTS will then load that image and you'll have a custom paint job. Creating custom cards is just as easy. To do so, go to Objects, Components, Cards, and Custom Card. Then, paste the image for the front and back of the card and you're good to go. When you have a custom object you like, make sure to save it so you can easily bring it out later. Another easy way to customize things is to use the plus and minus keys to make things bigger and smaller. One quality of life tip is to set up custom cameras. To do so, put the camera where you want it, hit the control and any of the number keys to assign the camera to that key. To quickly move to that camera, just hit shift and the number key, there you go. If you want to set up cameras that will be available in any server and you only need to create once, set up your cameras like normal and then hit the tilde button in the chat log. Type camera store saved positions to save them. When you are in a server and want to load your camera positions, type camera restore saved positions to load them. Voila! The last tip helps to avoid trolling and disruptions. Go to options at the top of the screen, then permissions, and deselect everything. This means players can only perform these actions after the server host has promoted them. This keeps people from joining the room and disrupting your game. Now that you've got a deeper knowledge of the X-Wing module and Tabletop Simulator, get out there, enjoy the game, maybe even create something.